Hi everybody! This is my last vlog before I go home, back home, with my hubby and my kiddo and my little brand boo-boo and my dogs and my kitty cats. Um, I've been gone for three weeks, so this is our last resort stay. I do have one more video to come out after this for you guys. Um, I have some resort tours and I'll share that with you, um, but then I'll be back with Erin and I'm so excited. I've been homesick. So as you can see, I'm at Dockside Inn and Suites. So I just shared with you guys Surfside Inn and Suites. This is Dockside. Okay, so a couple of things after staying at both resorts. These are the most economical resorts to stay at um, for universal vacations. Surfside is 750 rooms. Dockside is over 2,050, maybe 2,050 rooms. So Dockside is a much bigger resort much busier and um, basically in a nutshell what I was gonna say is it's a wonderful resort for large families um, there are two there are two towers just like at Surfside however the things I want to point out um, you do have to leave the lobby to go to your tower at Dockside unlike Surfside so at Surfside you stay in the lobby you go straight to your elevator for your um, tower you know uh, room at Dockside, you go out of the lobby through, you know, outside basically, and into a little hallway, and you kind of walk down and around and and get to your elevators for your for your tower, one or two. Each tower at Dockside has the same pool, so they're like replicas of each other. Um, each tower has their own game room. I'm going to show you everything. Um, I will say, as a, you know, so at Surfside, I stayed with Brianna, and then here I stayed by myself, and I kind of wish um, I had done it vice versa I'll be honest um, because Dockside is really kind of just big and loud and lots of people and you kind of want to be here with someone whereas Surfside is more you know if you're staying by yourself it was just more quiet and things like that so if I if I come by myself again and I'm staying at one of these um, eco resorts I'm gonna stay at Surfside if I come with the family, I'll stay at Dockside. One more thing, the walls at Dockside seem to be much thinner, so I did hear more here at Dockside than I did at Surfside. Um, overall, they're both great resorts. They're both on-property resorts, so you get early you know, park entry, all of the perks, but I prefer Surfside just for me. If you're a young family, if you're coming with a bunch of you know kiddos, grandkids, whatever, you might want to stay at Dockside just because the restaurants are bigger and it's, it's just a bigger resort. You know, 2,050 rooms compared to 750. There's two pools here as opposed to one at Surfside, things like that. Um, so let's go take a look. I'm going to show you everything and then if you want to look back at my Surfside um, coverage that was posted just, just a few days ago and you can take a look at that and compare the two and see which one you want to stay at. And then in a few days, I will have posted um, the coverage of two more resorts that I was able to get coverage of for you guys, including rooms and things like that. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. If you're planning a universal vacation and you're on a budget, this is going to be where you want to stay. Um, if you've got a large group, if you if you're on a budget and you want to stay kind of in a more quiet situation, you're going to be at, you're going to want to stay at Surfside. Both of them have transportation to and from the parks. Um, you know all all the perks that come with on on site properties. Dockside and Surfside are directly across the street from each other. Um, and you don't have access to Surfside amenities from Dockside, so and vice versa. Um, whereas some of the properties, you know, you have access to other pools if you're staying on property. But let's go take a look. I'm going to show you around. I'm going to show you what Dockside looks like so you can kind of make a decision for yourselves. All right, let's go. We are Aaron and Aretha Kringle. And we are inviting you to come mingle with the Kringles. Okay, so the front of Dockside, you have a huge um, entry. Now, the, the other difference as well at Surfside, the bus picks you up on the side of the resort to get to the parks, to get to City Walk. Um, whereas here at Dockside, um, if you just if you're looking at Dockside over to the left, you can see the bus pulling away. It picks you up right here. So still to the side, but not off, you know, to the side of the building like it like it did at Surfside. There are two areas where the buses pick you up. Um, I think one is for City Walk, and then one is for Volcano Bay. If I if I remember correctly, don't quote me on that. But yes, there are two um, little spots to wait for your bus here at Dockside. Okay, so then we're gonna head in. Um, they do have a huge pull-in area for valet parking. Uh, this lane here, where this car just pulled up, is actually a bus lane. Um, and I'll show you where it says that. So if you're pulling in like I did, I parked right where that black truck is. Let me zoom in. 
because I had the rental car from the trip up to Georgia. So I pulled up, I parked there, I got all of my stuff together, and then I went in and I checked it in to um, the luggage services because it was like earlier than my room was ready, even though they did have it ready once I went to check in. Um, but you do want to go ahead and park. There's plenty of parking and get all your stuff together and ready to check in. And so here you can see that is the bus lane. And then over to the right, let's walk over here. Um, they've got flags, dockside in flags, which is so cute. And then over here is the drop off pick up, pick up zone um, where you can have your Uber pick you up. Again, with Surfside, your Uber picks you up on the side of the building. So that's your through lane, your drop off pick up. There's two lanes there. And then again, you're gonna wanna park over here if you're wanting to drop off luggage, if you have a rental car and that kind of thing. Um, Okay, so let's head in. Okay, so as soon as you walk in, pretty large lobby. So you have your check-in area here on the right. Plenty of desks, as you can see. With Surfside, there were only four. And here there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight spots to do your check-in because the lines get pretty long with over 2,000 rooms. You have your luggage services, which is where my luggage is right now. I'll zoom in and show you that. Okay, you have your vacation planning services right here. Again, a much larger desk than at Surfside. Um, you have, if you keep walking through, so this is the large lounge area. I just got a picture with a minion. Scooby-Doo is over there now. They seem to have characters quite often. Um, let me zoom in and show you Scooby. There's Scoob. He's taking pictures with everyone. And then here's Starbucks and a large, large Starbucks as well. There are charging stations under the um, under the bar for Starbucks. So if you need to charge your phone while you're waiting for your room or whatever, or if you're just kind of on a little break. Um, they also have some Halloween Horror Nights um, props to take pictures with, which I got a picture there as well. More seating area over here. They've got a huge bar. So you can come get your cocktail drinking on over here. And I don't know what time it opens. I haven't seen many people sitting here so far. Just to the, if you're coming in from the front, it's to the left, from the bar, it's to the right. This is the seating area for the only on-property quick service restaurant. It's very nice, very clean, very pretty. Lots of ocean, you know, stuff. Much bigger than Surfside. They've got all of your drink station here, plenty of seating. And I'll go up and show you kind of what they have to offer in regards to food. The restaurant is called Pure 8. So it's the one on-site restaurant. And here is a little clip of the um, Dockside's Pure 8 market. So that's what they call it. And it's the only on-site restaurant. It's quick service. There's no dine-in service. Like you can't sit down and, you know, have someone come to your table. Um, but they've got desserts. Look at all these surfboards up here. So cute. Desserts, donuts, croissants, cookies, cinnamon rolls, um, bear claws. They've got a salad bar. So if you're trying to eat healthy, because sometimes it gets overwhelming eating fast food, um, or not fast food, but theme park food. They've got fresh sandwiches. Oh, look at that. That looks delicious. So it's like a pesto, cucumber, tomato, feta cheese toast. And then you've got your grab and go items over here. You've got orange juice, water, sandwiches, cupcakes, pre-made salads, juices, yogurts, or parfaits. Um, let's see, fresh fruit and it's wrapped. Interesting, wow. Okay, over here you've got like your, oh, a French onion burger. Let me zoom in here. So you've got tons of different burgers. French onion burger, 15, bacon cheddar burger, 14.50. You know, basic prices, not too bad. Um, and let's give you a little view of this. So there's the burgers, the tacos, fish tacos. Oh wow, that one's got pineapple and all kinds of crazy stuff on it. Um, chicken tenders, sweet potato fries. They've got pizzas, looks like flatbread pizzas and personal sized pizzas, pepperoni, cheese, sausage, all that kind of stuff. Hi, how are you? How are you doing? Good, how are you? I'm blessed, my love. What can I get for you? Is it Dalau? Dalu. Dalu, I love that. That's beautiful. Thank you. Yes, I'm just kind of filming. Well, and and do you mind being on film? Hello. Hello. <laughs> this is Dalu. 
food, and she's going to yes. help you get your food. This is me. This is you. This is you. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Um, so that was like mac and cheese and that kind of stuff. Um, they do sell alcohol, so you've got Guinness and all kinds of fun stuff here. Trulies. I've never tried a Truly, but I've heard that they're good. I mean, I have had White Claws. Um, let's see. Here are your checkout spots. Oh, we missed this over here. So you do have your cups to purchase that will last you, you know, your entire stay, depending on how long you're staying. Again, same thing as Surfside. Those are your prices. And they just say Endless Summer Resort. They don't say Dockside or, or Surfside. But fresh fruit, stuff for your burgers, pickles. Hopefully they're dill pickles. Oh, I hate sweet pickles. Um, candy. And then more grab-and-go stuff. So you've got Pop-Tarts, chips. Oh, the best ice cream, that funny something or other. Oh, no, it's not that. It's like Hershey's. I don't know. Um, you can buy a bottle of wine. If you want to pop open a bottle of wine, they've got Hello. chips. Hi, how are you? Good. Chips and sandwiches. You can get some cheese for your chips in your room. Cliff bars, those are always nice to have. And a quick little view, again, of all of the seating that's available. We're gonna head out to one of the towers and show you um, the pools and things like that. There's an ATM machine, there are restrooms. Again, this is a much bigger resort than Surfside. Much bigger, much louder, way more people. So if that's your, you know, if that's your thing, this is where you want to stay. Let's head into one of the towers. Oh, this is the back. Oh, I, I need to show you a couple more things. So this is the back side of the lounge. They've got these fun little like tree things. And then of course, they've got the Universal Studios store. Now here's a close up of one of the check-in areas. Um, so here is your Universal store. They've already clamped up the Christmas stuff, so you've got all of your Grinchmas. Today is Halloween. Today is the last day of October. So you can get wands here. You can get PJs, Hogsmeade PJs. They've got all of the houses, all kinds of different stuff. And so I've showed you these. I mean, I could spend hours in here, but I've showed you all this stuff. Um, coffee mugs. Oh, this is so cute. Hogs made for Christmas. I didn't find inside of Diagon Alley yesterday after I ate, so you guys will see. You guys will have already seen that. And I was gonna go find Christmas stuff to show you in the parks. However, I, after eating at Leafy Cauldron, I had like a food coma. <laughs> it was so good. And I just, I had a beer and I had food and I was just like, oh my gosh, I'm so tired. And my phone was at 11%. So I decided to come back to the room and just relax. Here's a better sign of the Pier 8 market. I'm walking through to Tower 1. I stayed in Tower 2, but I've already seen Tower 2. So I'm going to walk over here and show you guys Tower 1. Um, oh, here's a place to put your trays, things like that. But we're going to walk into Tower 1, and they do have a rental car area in the front and in each tower, I think. Here's kind of a glimpse of, that's the parking garage. Let me zoom in. Behind the resort. We're walking into Tower 1. So see, this is the little hallway that I was telling you guys about. I mean, it's obviously not far. Um, not a big deal. But you just walk out of the lobby. You walk through this hallway. And... So Tower 1 elevators and the fitness center are this way. And you guys have already seen coverage of my room. How's it going? That's okay. Good. So let's go take a look at the pool and then I'll kind of show you around the tower. So outside of each tower is a pool. So there's two pools and um, I already mentioned. So let's look at the pool hours. Sunday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. Friday and Saturday, 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. They do have life jackets available. Um, I did talk to them about getting into the pool after checkout because I already checked out and I'm getting ready to fly home on Halloween. Isn't that crazy? I've never flown on Halloween before, but, you know, I'm a fan of Halloween, so we'll just 
presume it's going to be all good. Um, let's see if I can get in. Yay! They're still letting me in. They said they would, but if I had any issues to come talk to them. Because you can enjoy, you can check your luggage in on day of check-in or day of check-out and still enjoy all the amenities of the hotel, which is nice. And that's all on property resorts. So the pool is quite big. Um, in the very back, there's an Oasis beach bar. And again, both of these resorts, the pools only go up to three and a half feet. I had some friends come here a year ago or so, and I did not at the time know that the pool was three feet. And the husband jumped in and like, just jumped in. <laughs> and he was like, oh, so here are your towels. So with the premier resorts on property, you're going to have, you know, concierge where your towels are like handed to you. Here, you just come grab them. And then when you're done, put them in the, the dirty towel thing. So swim diapers are available. And I'll just give you a quick little view of the pool. I'm not going to go up close. You can be in the sand if you like sand. Okay, and here's your towel return. They do have trash cans everywhere. They have recycling cans everywhere. Here's your towel return. So they're right next to each other. So if you like the sand, you can come lounge, read, play in the sand if your kids like the sand. If you don't like the sand, you can be on the cement. You have both options. So in the tower, we have the fitness center and we have the arcade area. And then I think there are 12 levels of rooms, I feel like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, maybe 11, 11 or 12. Um, in each tower so you know you figure however many rooms and and the way that they do is another thing so if you are in tower two the first number of your room number is going to be two if you are on floor 10 it's going to be 210 and then your room number 51 was mine so it'd be 21051 so if you're in tower one it's going to be one floor 10 110 room 51 if that makes any sense ice makers And then we're gonna head to check out the fitness center. And again, this is my first time at Tower One, so I don't know where the arcade is, but if I can't find it here, I'll show you in Tower Two because I do know where it's at there. Um, but each tower has one of each of those things. So there are people working out, so I'm not gonna like go in there and, you know, but that's your fitness area, fitness center, and you have to use your room key to get in. Um, the wake zone, I think that's the arcade. Let's go check it out. Oh gosh, the uh, fitness center just goes on and on. So it's even still down this way. I don't know what the wake zone is, but I don't see the arcade here. So I'm gonna take you guys over to tower one and show you the arcade over there. So again, just a completely different setup than with Surfside. Hi there, how are you? Um, and you know, personal preference, I like Surfside better. I just like the layout, I like the setup. I like how the pool and the bar are directly behind the resort. Um, so just a different setup. You could literally never see, oh, here, let's go, oh, that's a parking garage. Okay. I don't see, maybe there's not an arcade in Tower 2. Inter I mean, sorry, Tower 1. Interesting. Yeah, I just don't see a sign for it, but let's go check it out in Tower 2. Okay, here is the game room, and I'm pretty sure it's only in Tower 2, because as soon as I walked in, I saw a sign that said game room, and I didn't say, oh, look, they have Mario Kart. Oh, fun. They have air hockey. Kind of a Lightning McQueen type of guy. This big hunk of a King Kong of Skull Island um, game. Basketball. Yeah, fun stuff. Even restrooms in the game room. And then just outside of the back door of the game room, um, you have the Tower One pool. So, yeah, fun stuff. Game room, open daily, 8 to 11. Room key required. 
So that is Dockside Inn and Suites. So now you guys have seen Surfside, you've seen Dockside, you've seen Aventura, you've seen Cabana Bay. Um, and I'm going to be uploading, like I said, two more resort tours here soon. Um, but let's go take one last trip into the parks. I'm gonna head to Islands of Adventure today. I was in Diagon Alley yesterday. Um, so for those of you who have never been to Universal but are wanting to come, you're gonna go into um, you're gonna go into Universal Studios for Diagon Alley. You're going to either take the train over or go into Islands of Adventure for Hogsmeade. Um, the train is super fun, so I highly suggest doing that. Tonight is the last. No, tonight is Halloween Horror Nights on October 31st on Halloween. I think it's running through November 3rd. So Studios is closing early. I think at five and Islands of Adventure is open until seven. So we're gonna head over, take one last look in the parks. Here's one more look at Dockside. Goodbye, Dockside. I have to come back and get my luggage. My flight isn't until 10 p.m. tonight. So I'm gonna go into the parks for a little while and then come back, get my luggage, and head to the airport and call it a series of vlogs from Jamaica to Orlando. We'll be back though, no worries. We love Orlando. So for if you have a wheelchair or if you have a scooter, the buses do have an automatic ramp that you can use um, and the bus driver will make sure you get on safely and strap you in, so no worries there. So I am on the 10th floor and here is a full length mirror. You come in the closet. So we are not in a two bedroom suite like we were at Surfside. So the closet is basically the same as it was at Surfside, but it's in the main room and then the, the um, safe is in the room as well. Ironing board, all of those basics. You've got your iron as well, um, which I tend to use when I'm traveling because stuff gets wrinkled. So here's the bathroom. One sink this time. I've already put some stuff out because I my hands were full and I needed to charge my phone and just all this different stuff plus I was hungry. But anyway, so here's the bathroom, here's the toilet, um, and the shower. So kind of the same setup as we had at Surfside. You've got your surf and sand, shampoo and conditioner and cleansing bar in the main room so here's your temperature same same as surfside um i feel like i paid the same exact price for a two bedroom suite i could be i need to look at that but anyways this is two queen beds so from what i understand the reason that dockside is that's the first thing i noticed dockside is so much busier is because they have over 2,000 rooms whereas surfside has like 750. So that is why Dockside is so much busier and there might be a better price point, but I thought I paid the same amount. I'll have to look. Um, so catch the wave, it says here, I have all of my, my food here. You do have a refrigerator, but it's smaller, so it doesn't have as much room. Let me try to get it open from the right side. So I already have some stuff in there um, because I am not planning on eating out for these next, th next four days. I'm trying to just make my food and not spend money on food outside the parks, maybe a beer or something, but, um, and so, okay, so there's my view. That's like an abandoned, oh wow, look at that. Interesting. That might be kind of fun to like go look in. <laughs> Anyways, so that's my view. There's the Hampton Inn and Suites there. Yeah. All right, there is this little stool that looks like, oh, it's just a handle. I was thinking you could put stuff in it, but yeah, it's a stool for your desk. Um, phone, notepad, worry less, surf more, surf endless summer. So Surfside and um, Dockside are directly across the street from each other. And then you can see Aventura from here, which I showed you guys Aventura just I don't know, maybe a month and a half ago or so. Here's a menu for, if I'm, oh wait, it's easy being green, only to, okay, so never mind. That's the rundown on info for the hotel. Here is your in-room pizza delivery. And then again, you have your, so you don't have a little kitchenette like you do at Surfside with the two bedroom suite, but you have your coffee maker. Let's see if there's anything in the drawers. Um, I have to admit, just within the first 10 minutes of being here, I think I'm a fan of Surfside more so than Dockside. 
I'm taking you guys into the wizarding world of Harry Potter and to Diagon Alley today. We're going into the Leaky Cauldron for lunch and a beer. Um, whenever I get, whenever I'm at the parks and I've kind of like reached my max, I always come into the wizarding world and just relax. So we're gonna have some food, have some beer, spend the day in the wizarding world. I'll take the train over. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna try to show you everything that is already here. Today is the 30th, October 30th and they have already got a lot of Christmas stuff out. So in addition to the Dockside Inn, um, I'm sorry, Universal's Dockside Inn and Suites coverage, I'm gonna show you all the Christmas stuff that they have available here in the parks already. So let's head in. Okay, here we go. This is the entrance. There's hardly a line, which I'm very happy about because I'm pretty hungry. All I've had today, well, actually, all I've had today is sugar. I had a large Starbucks to pump up my caffeine, and then I had, um, oh, hi. I was trying to find my way through the line, but there's no line. So yes, they were just basically telling me I was waiting in line and there was no line. So I'm just showing you guys what is here. I've never been, I've never eaten at the Leaky Cauldron before. So let's take a look. We have fish and chips. Actually, here's a menu right here. So our entrees, fish and chips, plowmans, bangers and mash, hunter's chicken, soup and salad, cottage pie, fisherman's pie, all kinds of yummy stuff. So we're going to figure out what we're going to have. Um, but yeah, really pretty. I'm going to have a seat and order from the app. It's very beautiful in here. And so basically what I was saying is that I've only had sugar today, so it's time to eat. I've had Starbucks and a lemon muffin. Oh, look at this cauldron. Oh my gosh, this is so pretty. There's wood here. Wow. This adorable little sign is here. It says, end guests only beyond this point. And then there are stairs. Let me zoom back out. So cute. So, I mean, it does have, you know, a three, three room, six vibe, but there's a completely different menu. And I'm just giving you guys a little view of the inside. I'm sitting in the far corner so I can record and do my thing. Um, they've got silverware, ketchup, vinegar, which I love for your fish and chips and your chip. Yeah, so chips are fries in English. Fish and chips, in case you didn't know that. I'm hanging out in my dark little corner inside of the miserable world. I'm tired. I've been away from home for three weeks. I miss my dogs. I miss my husband. I miss my kid. But this right here is going to make me happy. This is called Dragon Scales. I haven't had this beer before, so I'm excited. Let's see how it tastes. Mm. Just what the doctor ordered. So I'll show you guys my fish and chips. Um, I'm literally just chilling in the corner over here, having some downtime. I fly home tomorrow and I can't wait. But I'm, I mean, I'm happy to be here. Obviously, I love being here, but um, I'm just chilling in the corner. I'll show you my food in just a sec. I got this yummy cottage pie. It's got beef and vegetables. It's in a potato crust. So I'm excited to try that. And then I got the blue cheese stuff to go with it. We're walking into Islands of Adventure. This is Halloween morning, and they, as you can see, there is Christmas 
there are Christmas decorations already at the beginning of the park. So I think we're going to find a lot more here at Islands than we did yesterday um, at Studios. So let's go take a look. It makes sense. Okay, it took me a minute. I'm slow. Yes, HHN is still going on at Universal Studios. So they decorated Islands first. So you can see all of the Christmas stuff going up over here. They've got it hanging over the Adventure Begins bridge. In Island Market and Export, everything. They've got Christmas trees. Look at this. Aw, so pretty. First Christmas theme park experience on Halloween. That's so funny. Lots of Honeyduke stuff. But if you look over here, Hogsmeade Christmas, we've seen this stuff inside of the um, resort. The resort store. That's, oh, that's a great tree topper. We need that. That's so cute. Yeah, tons of trees. Ravenclaw, Slytherin. That's the Slytherin tree. I'm surprised it's not green ribbon. Then they've got doves on this one with a Harry Potter. Oh, this this one's huge. That's pretty. And then the hat up top that chooses your house. Yeah. And then little mini Christmas trees everywhere. Stockings, Christmas ornaments. Look at this little backpack. How cute. So cute. Pajamas, hats, more Christmas trees, garland, more trees, more ornaments. That's cute. Little snowman cookie jar. Very cute. Gosh, look at this, you guys. Is that beautiful? And then just Mary, oh, 2024. Mm -hmm. This ornament. Look at all the Grinch with stuff. Here's your little ears. <laughs> so cute. This is cute. Aw, to the Grinch from Max. So yesterday, they bumped the Halloween Horror Nights merch up to 70% off. So like this is $82. Um, I got Aaron a Ghostbusters lounge fly for 12 bucks because it was 70% off of 72. And then I had a fifth, which made it like 23. And then I had a $15 gift card from Universal that I needed to finish using. So I used that and I ended up paying 12 bucks out of pocket for his lounge fly. I've been looking for a lounge fly for him forever. So I was so excited. I wish more people were fluent and silent. I'll show you guys that lounge fly. It's really cute. I just, I was so excited. Oh my gosh, look at this. I can't wait for Jameson to get just a little bit bigger because they don't really have a bunch of stuff for tiny tinies. He's almost one. I just got his little birthday invite. Um, Grinch skiing. So everything here is like extra small. So once he's just a tiny bit bigger, and we've gotten him so much, we've already gotten him two stuffies, a Bluey and a Bart. So I think he's good on stuffies. Socks, oh my gosh, how cute. And look at this. Twenty-four bucks. Send your kid to school with a naughty lunch box. <laughs> That'd be funny. Pajamas. There's a little buddy in the park. He's kind of Let's see what he does. Oh, he already ran out. These guys are getting all the little snacks left over from the trays. Okay, I just left Hogsmeade. Here is the Hogsmeade train station to take the train back over to Diagon Alley. Um, there really wasn't any like Christmas.
Christmas decorations to show you inside of Hogsmeade. So um, I'm gonna wrap up the vlog here. I'll give you a little view. I got a couple of clips in there, but there's Hogsmeade. So the castle, all of the rides, ins or the ride inside of the castle um, is over in Hogsmeade. Three Broomsticks is over in Hogsmeade. And then you're gonna head over to Diagon Alley for um, Gringotts and uh, Leaky Cauldron and that kind of thing. You can take the train in between. I didn't take the train today. Maybe I should go do that to end the vlog on the train. What do you guys think? Maybe we should, huh? So on both sides, you're gonna have an express entrance and an attraction entrance. Um, I do not have express, so I am headed into the attraction entrance. Over on the other side, if you come in from the Diagon Alley side, you actually walk through what simulates a train station. I can't remember what you enter from this side. I think it's just, I don't remember. But the other side, you're gonna have like a whole experience in side of literally what seems like a train station. Um, you're gonna have, you know, like you walk up to the nine and three quarters platform, you have the owl and the suitcases and all the fun stuff. So it's really important to ride the train from both sides to get the full experience. And then there are different um, different experiences that you have on the train going to and from. So that's one little tip. Um, so here's the entrance here, I remember now. It's kind of more, it's not necessarily like a full-blown train station like from the other side, but it's still, it's still a fun entrance here. That was the express entrance, which I did with Lisa before. Brianna and I did not have express, but without express, you walk down this little walkway, and then I'll show you where you come in down there. Come in this little entrance here, and I don't think the wait is too bad. I think it said it was 10 minutes, so not too bad. This is what it looks like from the regular line. Okay, so here's the entrance from the Hogsmeade side. 